Hello and welcome to the big end of year quiz. Um, there are going to be a few different rounds uh, with a few different topics. Um, so good luck on this end of year quiz that we have got here. OK, let's get started. So we have got a world map here of some countries around the world. And what you are going to have to do is tell me something about each of those countries. Let's go on to our first question and hopefully that it will make a bit more sense. So Brazil. Brazil produces the largest amount of one of these popular products. Which is it? Is it chocolate, cheese or coffee? So have a little think. Brazil produces the largest amount of one of these popular products. Which is it? Is it chocolate? Is it cheese or is it coffee? OK, so let's go through those answers. So is it chocolate? No, it is not chocolate, unfortunately. Is it cheese? Not cheese either. So that must mean it is coffee. So well done if you have got that one correct. So now you kind of understand what we are going to be doing. So you'll have three options that come up and you need to write down the option that you think is correct. And for this one, Brazil produces the largest amount of coffee. OK, let's move on to the next question. Japan. One of these objects was invented in Japan. Which one is it? Let's have a quick look back at the map. Can you find Japan for me? Have a look, see if you can find Japan. OK, so let's have a look. One of these objects was invented in Japan. Which one is it? Is it the Nintendo? Is it scissors or is it the camera? Which one of these objects was invented in Japan? Have a think, write it down. And we are going to have a look. Is it scissors? No. Is it the camera? Unfortunately not. The camera, I think, is a tricky one because I would have thought it would have possibly been invented in Japan. The camera, which must mean it is, of course, the Nintendo that has been invented in Japan. Fabulous. Let's move on to the next question. Moving on to Russia. Russia has the largest area of a geographical feature in the world. Which is it? Is it lakes, mountains or forests? Russia has the largest area of a geographical feature in the world. Which is it? Is it lakes, mountains or forests? OK, let's have a look, shall we? Or write down your answer first. Before we have a look, I'll give you a little more time there. So have a think about whether it's lakes, mountains or forests that Russia has the largest area of which geographical feature. OK, let's have a look at the answers for this. Is it lakes? No. Is it mountains? No, it is forests. So Russia has the largest area of forests in the world. Fantastic. Moving on, moving on to Italy. Which is the most popular sport in Italy? Is it tennis? Is it football? Or is it swimming? Which is the most popular sport in Italy? Is it tennis? Is it football? Or is it swimming? So have a think about that and have a think about which is the most popular sport. Tennis, football or swimming? Write your answer down and then we will have a look. So is it tennis? No. Is it swimming? No, not swimming either. I had a sneaky suspicion that it might have been football and it is in fact football. So football is the most popular sport in Italy. Well done if you got that one correct. OK, next question. Norway. Which character comes from Norwegian folklore? Is it pixies, gnomes or trolls? Which character comes from Norwegian folklore? So old stories that um, have been passed down from generation to generation uh, in Norway. Do they include pixies, gnomes or trolls? 
have a little think and write your answer down. Pixies, gnomes or trolls. OK, let's have a look, shall we? Is it pixies? No, it is not pixies, unfortunately. Is it gnomes? It's not gnomes either. It is, in fact, trolls. So trolls are a character from Norwegian folklore. Well done if you got that one correct. I think pixies, gnomes and trolls feel all quite similar, don't they? So it's good if you got trolls correct. Moving on to Mexico. Mexico is famous for many different foods. Which of these foods did not originate in Mexico? So which one of these is not Mexican? Mozzarella, tacos or burritos? Which one of these is not Mexican? Mozzarella, tacos or burritos? It's looking at these pictures starting to make you feel a bit hungry because it's definitely starting to make me feel a bit hungry. Mexico is famous for lots and lots of different foods. Which one of these foods did not originate in Mexico? Is it mozzarella, tacos or burritos? Make sure you've got an answer written down. And we will go through. So burritos, do they originate in Mexico? They do originate in Mexico. So this is one of the foods that uh, does come from Mexico. So that is not your correct answer. Are tacos from Mexico? Let's have a look, shall we? Tacos are from Mexico, which means that mozzarella is the food that did not originate in Mexico. So well done if you have got that one correct. Moving on to the next question. Madagascar. Madagascar provides half the world's supply of which precious gemstone? Half the world's supply of which precious gemstone? Madagascar isn't even a really big country. So for it to then supply half of the world's um, gemstone of one of these three, that's really, really crazy. Uh, so is it ruby, is it sapphire, or is it emerald? So Madagascar provides half the world's supply of which precious gemstone? Is it ruby, sapphire, or emerald? Which one does Madagascar provide half the world's supply of? OK, so make sure you've got your answer written down and we will have a little look. So is it emerald? It is not emerald. Is it sapphire? It is sapphire, so it's not ruby. So your answer there is sapphire. So Madagascar provides half of the world's supply of sapphires. Fascinating. Moving on to the next question. Iceland. Now, this is definitely Iceland, the country and not Iceland, the shop. Iceland is home to 200 of which? Is it home to 200 volcanoes, 200 rivers or 200 railway lines? Which one is Iceland home to? Is it 200 volcanoes, rivers or railway lines? So have a little think. Iceland, the small island. Is it home to 200? Does it fit 200 volcanoes? Or does it fit 200 rivers? Or does it fit 200 railway lines inside of it? Make sure you've got your answer written down and we will go through these. So let's have a look. Has it got 200 railway lines? No, it does not have 200 railway lines. Does it have 200 rivers? does not have 200 rivers. In fact, it has 200 volcanoes, which is fascinating. I think they're probably not all as big as the volcanoes that we are probably thinking of, um, as otherwise I'm not sure 200 would fit on Iceland, but it is home to 200 volcanoes. OK, let's move on to our next question. So the next question is about Chile. The currency used in Chile is called the Chilean what? Is it the Chilean peso, the Chilean euro or the Chilean yen? Now, if you have a look at these pictures, that might give you a clue. The currency used in Chile is called the Chilean what? Is it the peso, the euro or the yen? And have a look closely at these pictures. because I think one of them will give you a clue. I think hopefully we'll, we will know another. And then I think then maybe that last one is what the Chilean currency is called. 
So get your answer written down. The currency used in Chile is called the Chilean Watt. Okay, so let's have a look. Is it the Chilean Yen? And you can see on the picture there, we have got a language that does not look like it is Chilean. Um, so hopefully that gave you a little clue because it is not the Chilean Yen. Is it the Chilean Euro? Well, considering Chile is not in Europe, you would hope that it is not the Euro. It is, of course, the Peso, the Chilean Peso. So well done if you got that one correct. Moving on to our next question, which is about Cuba. Which is Cuba's main crop? Is it wheat, sugarcane or cotton? Which is, is Cuba's main crop? Is it wheat, sugarcane or cotton? Have a think and get your answer down. Wheat, sugarcane or cotton? Which is Cuba's main crop? So, shall we have a look at the answer? Is it wheat? It's not wheat. Is it sugarcane? It is sugarcane, so it's not cotton. Cuba's main crop is sugarcane. So well done if you got that one correct. Moving on to our next question. We are travelling to Jamaica. Which type of music comes from Jamaica? Is it folk, jazz or reggae? Which type of music comes from Jamaica? Is it folk, jazz or reggae? Have a think about which type of music originated in Jamaica. Folk, jazz or reggae? Have a think and make sure you've got your answer written down. And then we will go through them. So is it folk that originated from Jamaica? It was not. Is it jazz that came from Jamaica? No, not jazz either. It was, of course, reggae that came from Jamaica. Moving on now to Switzerland. What is the capital of Switzerland? Berlin. Bern or Bangkok? What is the capital of Switzerland? Is it Berlin, Bern or Bangkok? Have a little think. You may remember um, in one of my Where in the World quizzes that I did at the very beginning, uh, I actually have been to Switzerland. It was two years ago now um, and I have also you would have seen pictures there of me um, in a chocolate shop was where I showed you from Switzerland. But I've also visited the capital. Uh, so let's have a look here. Is it Berlin? So Berlin, is Berlin the capital of Switzerland? No, unfortunately it is not. Um, is Bangkok the capital of Switzerland? It is not Bangkok either. What I will do is I will give you an extra point if you can tell me which country Berlin and Bangkok are the capitals of. So have a little think about that. Which countries are Berlin and Bangkok the capitals of? Here are some pictures of me in uh, Bern, the capital of Switzerland. As you can see, uh, the river was looking absolutely stunning, a brilliant blue, um, and it was a lovely, lovely city to go and walk around. Now, just going back to the extra bonus question that I asked you, Berlin is the capital of Germany and Bangkok is the capital of Thailand. So if you've got those two correct, you can get an extra bonus point each. OK, let's move on. Peru. Which animal provides the traditional meat in Peru? Is it guinea pig, cow or monkey? So in Peru, which animal provides the traditional meat in Peru? Is it guinea pig, is it cow or is it monkey? Now this one I feel might be a little upsetting for some of you, so just be aware. So get your answer down and then we will have a look. So which animal provides the traditional meat in Peru? Is it guinea pig, cow or monkey? So have a little 
think about that. Get your answer down. And let's go through. Is it monkey? No, it's not monkey. So monkey is not an animal that provides the traditional meat in Peru. Is it a cow? No, unfortunately not a cow either, which means that it is a guinea pig. A guinea pig is a real delicacy in Peru um, and one of its national dis dishes, which means that it is the animal that provides the traditional meat in Peru. OK, moving on to the next question. Next question is about Canada. Canada, how many lakes are in Canada? Uh, you may remember again from my uh, where in the world is Miss Navarro quiz that there was a picture of me stood in front of an absolutely beautiful lake in Canada. Um, so let's have a look. How many lakes are in Canada? Are there over 4,000? Are there over 30,000? Or are there over 13,000? So how many lakes are in Canada? Over 4,000? Over 30,000? Or over 13,000? So have a think, write your answer down. So over 4,000, 30,000 or 13,000. So have a think, how many lakes are in Canada? OK, let's have a look. Is it over 4,000? Well, it's definitely over 4,000, but let's see whether it's over 13,000. It's definitely over 13,000 as well, which means there are over 30,000 lakes in Canada. To put that into perspective, um, I'm not actually sure quite what the capacity of the annex, so Brighton's ground is, but I would assume it is about 30,000. Let me just have a look. But I would say um, it is probably about that. Let's see. Ah, yeah, lovely. So the annex Capacity, the capacity for the Amex football ground is 30,666, which is a nice number. Um, but what that means is that if every single person was in the Amex stadium, that every single one of those people would have a lake in Canada. And there's probably even more than that. So that kind of hopefully gives you a little bit of perspective on that as to how many lakes there are in Canada. Wow. Moving on to South Africa. How many official languages are spoken in South Africa? Is it six? Is it 22? Or is it 11? How many official languages are spoken in South Africa? Is it six, 22 or 11? So have a think. Obviously, South Africa is a very large, um, well, South Africa actually isn't that large, I'm saying that. Um, South Africa isn't that large. Uh, so how many official languages are spoken in South Africa? I thought the question said Africa to start with, um, which is obviously a very large continent, but South Africa is still quite a large country. Um, but how many countries, how many languages are spoken? Is it six, is it 22, or is it 11? So let's have a look. Is it six languages? No, so it's got to be more than six languages. Is it 22 languages? Not quite 22 languages, which means that it's 11 languages. There are 11 official languages spoken in South Africa, um, which I think is really interesting. So that is the end of our where in the world section of this quiz. Um, and now we are going to move on to the odd one out. So which is the odd one out of these pictures here? Looks like we've got a lime, a pomegranate, a grapefruit and an orange. So which is the odd one out? Um, so you can write either one, two, three or four, or you can write the name of the fruit that you think is the odd one out. Uh, it might also be worthwhile writing why you think it's the odd one out. because so I think actually you can get a point for getting the correct answer as to which one is the odd one out. But I would quite like it and you can get an extra bonus point if you can tell me um, why it is the odd one out. Now, for some of you and throughout this, there may be answers that you give 
that could be correct but on the answer that I say. So what I am going to say is that whoever it is that you are working with, whether that be at home or a teacher in school, um, you are allowed to decide whether you are going to accept the reason that they say um, and whether you are going to give the points. So they can get everyone can get one point if you guess the correct uh, thing that is the odd one out. But then what you can also do is get another point if you can give me a correct reason because otherwise you could just have a guess at all of them and get them all right without even knowing why. So which is the odd one out? And like I said, if you um, can give me a really good reason why a different one is the odd one out to what the one that I say, then I will allow you the points, but it maybe will have to be a discussion with either your grown-ups at home or the teacher that is working with you um, and whatever they say goes. So let's have a look, which one is the odd one out? It is a pomegranate. The pomegranate is the odd one out. The rest are all citrus fruits. Oh, goodness me, I got that wrong. They were a blood orange and a kumquat rather than a, a grapefruit and an orange. Um, so we've got a lime, a blood orange and a kumquat. Uh, the rest are all citrus fruits, whereas a pomegranate is not. Oh, let's have a look. Mm, I still think that looks pretty much like an orange, but... They're telling me that it's a kumquat, it's a kumquat. Okay, moving on to the next question. Which country is the odd one out? Which country is the odd one out? So I'm not actually going to give you clues on what these countries are. Um, so you're going to have to have a look at the flags and have a think about which countries these might be and then tell me which country is the odd one out. So have a think, which one do you think might be the odd one out, out of these? So remember, if you guess correctly, you can put one, two, three and four. If you don't know, um, if you don't know what the countries are, you can have a guess and you can get a point if you get that correct. But what I would then want is for an extra point, you to tell me the reason why you think it's the odd one out. And if that is the correct reason, you get an extra point. So which one of these is the odd one out? Let's have a look, shall we? It is Australia. Australia is the odd one out uh, because the rest are all in the Northern Hemisphere. So the other flags were Canada, Turkey and Spain, and they are all in the Northern Hemisphere, um, whereas Australia is in the Southern Hemisphere. So Australia is the odd one out. Well done if you got that one correct. Let's move on. Which of these is the odd one out. So which one of these sports is the odd one out? So have a look at all of them, have a look at what they are all doing and have a think about which one you think is the odd one out. And what you are going to do is you can either write down one, two, three or four um, or you can name the sport if you know what the sport is and then you need to give me a reason why you think it is the odd one out. And like I said, if you get the same reason as me, then you can get a mark, uh, so an extra point. If you give another reason, but that it is a valid reason and it is correct and you all agree that it is correct, you may get that mark as well. So have a think, which is the odd one out, out of these here? I'm going to have a look at the answers now. Swimming is the odd one out here. The rest are all sports you can play with a ball. So American football, golf and tennis, they all have a ball, whereas swimming, you do not have a ball to play swimming. Well done if you got that one correct. OK, moving on to the next odd one out. So let's have a look. Oh, which one of these are the odd one out? We've got a sheep, a hedgehog, an elephant and a cow. Which one of these do you think is the odd one out? So you can go one, two, three or four. Sheep, hedgehog, elephant or cow? And which one do you think is the odd one out and why? So you get one mark if um, you get one mark if you get the correct answer and then one mark if you can then also tell me um, why it is the odd one out. So have a look at all of these and get your answer written down. Is it sheep, hedgehog, elephant or cow that is the odd one out? 
Shall we have a look? I think you could possibly give quite a few answers for different ones of these, and I'd probably give them to you. Uh, so let's see. The answer is that hedgehog is the odd one out. Um, and the reason why is that the rest are all herbivores. So a sheep, a cow and an elephant are all herbivores. Um, now, I can really clearly see that actually another way that you could look at that is that an elephant is the odd one out because elephants aren't found um, in this country or are native to this country. They are obviously found in zoos, um, but elephants are not just strolling around in this country, whereas sheep, hedgehogs and cows all are. So if you said that is your reasoning, then I will allow you that. Um, but I think there are lots of different ways that you could look at this as being an odd one out. Uh, but the answer here is that the rest are all herbivores, whereas a hedgehog is not. So let's move on. Which is the odd one out? Oh, we've got an egg, we've got some cheese, we've got some butter and some ice cream. What is the odd one out? We've got egg, cheese, butter and ice cream. Again, making me quite hungry looking at some of these pictures. So have a think, and which one do you think is the odd one out? So make sure you have written that down um, and have given me a reason why you think these, this one is the odd one out. We can have a look at the answer. So eggs in this selection are the odd one out. The rest are all milk products. So all the rest are milk products. Cheese, butter and ice cream are all made from milk, whereas eggs are the odd one out because they are obviously made from chickens and not from milk. So well done if you got that one correct. Um, I mean, I don't think any of them are the odd one out because they are all just very tasty. But if you are going for uh, this odd one out, it is because the rest are all milk products. OK, let's move on. Which is the odd one out here? You've got a seahorse, you've got a shark, you've got a fish and you have a dolphin. Oh, look, I found Nemo. <laughs> Uh, so you've got a seahorse, you've got a shark, you've got a fish and you have a dolphin. Which one of these is the odd one out? So have a little think. Which one of these is the odd one out? Out of these sea creatures. So write your answer down. Um, write why you think it is the odd one out. And we will take a look in a moment at the answer. So make sure you've got that written down and you can go one, two, three or four. So seahorse, shark, fish or dolphin. Right. Have we all written down our answers? Let's have a look, shall we? And we'll find out which is the odd one out and why. So the dolphin is the odd one out. A dolphin is a mammal and the rest are all fish. So a seahorse, a shark and a clownfish are all types of fish. Whereas a dolphin is a mammal like us. Um, now, when I was looking at those pictures, I was thinking of a different reason why one was the odd one out. And I would say that maybe the seahorse is the odd one out because I know that it is the male seahorse that carries uh, the young rather than the female for the other three animals. So you could definitely have that as a an answer as well. Uh, but the answer on here is that the dolphin is the odd one out because it is a mammal and the rest are all fish. Moving on to this, moving on to this next question, which is the odd one out here? Oh, interesting. Well, I'm not sure which is the odd one out. You've got a pan full of vegetables. You've got a lock with a padlock on. You've got a notebook with what looks like music notation inside and you have got a sock on a branch, which is the odd one out and why? Gosh, I think they're all a bit odd, aren't they? There must be a link between them. So have a little think. Which one is the odd one out? 
Okay, make sure you've got your answer written down. Um, make sure that you have either put one, two, three or four. You can have a guess if you're unsure um, and then a reason why you think that they're the odd one out. OK, let's see, shall we? Even I'm intrigued by this. The answer is that the book is the odd one out because all the others rhyme. So there was a wok, a lock and a sock. So I was a bit tricky there, wasn't I? And didn't quite say all of those words together. So you might not have been able to see that they rhymed. And that walk, that first one was quite tricky. Um, but well done if you have got this one correct. I thought that was really hard. Um, the book is the odd one out. I am sure you have come up with lots of different reasons why some of the others might have been the odd one out. And like I said, maybe you can have a little discussion. Um, as long as everyone agrees that it could be the odd one out, I'm happy to give you the point for that. But you get two points if you got that it was book and because they um, all the others rhyme. But if you chose one of the other ones, you only get one point as long as you can justify it. OK, let's move on. Which is the odd one out? Oh, sort of some very cute little animals here. So we have got a penguin. We have got what looks like maybe a snow fox, a walrus and a polar bear. So which do you think is the odd one out? Is it a penguin? What looks like maybe a snow fox or an arctic fox maybe? Uh, a walrus or a polar bear? Which of these is the odd one out? So have a little think and see and if you're unsure maybe have a guess as to which one it may be okay so make sure you've got that written down and we will have a look at the answer shall we so the answer is the penguin is the odd one out and it's not because the penguin is the cutest one. Uh, it's because the penguin is found at the South Pole and the rest are found at the North Pole. So the polar bear, the Arctic fox and a, the walrus are all found at the North Pole, whereas the penguin is the only one found at the South Pole. Gosh, that must be very lonely for the penguin down there um, when all the other ones are probably having a lovely time up at the North Pole together making friends. So the penguin is the odd one out here. And the last question here uh, in this section, which one of these is the odd one out? So we have got the flute, we've got the bassoon, we've got the trumpet and we have the oboe. Which is the odd one out out of these musical instruments? So have a think and have a look. Which one of these is the odd one out? They all look like they might be played in similar ways. So it's quite interesting to have a think and see whether you can figure out what might be different about one of them. What might be different about one of them? So have a think. Can you think about which one's the odd one out? So you can put one, two, three or four and remember to give your reasoning. OK, shall we have a look at the final answer here? So our answer is that the trumpet is in fact the odd one out. The trumpet is a brass instrument and the rest are woodwind instruments. So the flute, bassoon and oboe are all woodwind instruments, whereas the trumpet is a brass instrument. Fantastic. Well done if you got that one correct. And we have come to the end of this quiz, this big quiz of the year. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and maybe have learnt a few different things as well along the way. Um, hope you have had a lovely time participating in my quiz and have a lovely rest of your week. Goodbye everyone. <laughs>